Hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This isn't the normal video you would see on my channel. You're used to the vlogs, the fun, the games, but today we're being serious. Now anyways, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dustin as always. I just wanted to change things up a little bit. There's been stuff going around the internet about this certain subject and I just wanted to make a video on it today just because it's really interesting to me and um, kind of the thought of this um, really intrigues me. I'm really into like conspiracy theories and all that. So I thought this video would be perfect today. I didn't have any vlog content. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's just make this video. If you guys do like this video, please make sure to subscribe. A lot of you, a lot of you guys, I've been noticing, I've been looking over my analytics. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and not subscribing. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you guys get the notifications when my video goes live. So basically today, guys, what we're going to be covering is something called the Mandela effect. And at the end of this video, I want you guys to comment down below how many of these um, Mandela effects um, caught you off guard or you thought that this was one way, but it was actually another. And if you guys don't know what the Mandela effect is, I'm going to tell you right now. The Mandela effect is a theory of parallel universes based in the idea that because large groups of people have similar alternative memories about past events. So example, many people share a false memory, which was that Nelson Mandela had died during his impeachment in the 1980s, but really he just died recently in 2013. And this is, this is one of the bigger ones. I think the, the example that we, that I just gave you guys about Nelson Mandela, um, and this is how the Mandela effect got its name. So basically we're going to go over the 10 creepiest Nelson or not Nelson, but Mandela effects right now. So this is the first one. And I know I've talked to a lot of Pokemon people and they don't really buy into this one, but I actually do because I've seen Pikachu both ways. So the first Mandela effect is the tip of Pikachu's tail isn't actually black. Um, it's, it's the picture here on the right, but I've seen it both ways and I don't think I've seen it in the shows with a black tail, but I've definitely seen it on the internet of people making drawings and pictures of Pikachu. And I actually like the one with the black tail more. Um, but if you talk to a lot of Pokemon fans, they don't buy into this Mandela effect. Um, they all know that Pikachu's tail really isn't black. This one bothers me a lot. This one bothers me a ton um, because I watched Curious George as a kid and I think I always just thought he had a tail. He never, act he never actually has a tail. He doesn't have a tail on the show. And I went and actually looked up YouTube videos and he doesn't have it. I, this one bothers the crap out of me guys. This one bothers the crap out of me because forever I totally was bought into the fact that he had a tail and he actually doesn't. So this one, uh, I'm mind boggled. Like this one, this one blows my mind hundred percent. This one might be the most, um, the most mind boggling one, I guess. This next one. I was a huge Star Wars kid as a fan, um, but this one says Darth Vader doesn't say Luke, I am your father. He actually says, no, I am your father. And I grew up watching Star Wars. I was a big Star Wars guy. And when I played out in the yard with my lightsaber against my friends and I knocked one down, I'd always be like, Luke, I am your father. Because I was always dark side. I was always, I was always dark side, guys. Come on now. Dark side always wins. It's a known fact, but no. He actually says, no, I am your father. So my childhood is ruined. Thank you, Mandela Effect. You have ruined my whole childhood with just this, with just this. My childhood is legit ruined. You guys ruined my whole childhood. Thanks. Appreciate it. Square up with me. Kit Kat doesn't actually have a dash. This one bothers me too, because I love Kit Kats. And I for sure thought that there was a dash in between. Literally my whole childhood is being ruined by this YouTube video. Like off the first three already, my my whole childhood is ruined because everything that I thought was real was actually fake. And it's really, really, really getting on my nerves that things that I thought were real were not real. It's kind of like learning that Santa Claus wasn't real. Sorry if y'all, I shouldn't have said that. Love you, Santa. What's up? This one gets me. Like I'm just staring at it. And Kit Kat with a dash looks, it looks real. It legit looks real. Like why? I don't know. I don't know. This one, this one just bothers me so bad. This one bothers me so, so, so bad, guys. This might be worse than the Curious George. Curious George was really bad too. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know which one looks right in the comments. I don't know. I, 
I can't point out. I can't, I can't tell you guys why I, th I think this way. Why is my whole life a lie? Life is like a box of chocolates. Forrest Gump actually said, life was like a box of chocolates. Wait, what? Wait, what? I have to take my glass off for this, bro. I didn't want the FBI to see my face today. I have to let them see my face. I'm gonna have to keep my glass off now because this is, this is too much. Life is like a box of chocolates, but Forrest Gump actually said life was like a box of chocolates. I'm trying to think because I haven't seen Forrest Gump in a long time. Because they're sitting on the bench, right? When he says this. I don't know. Did this one stump you guys? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big, I didn't, like I watched Forrest Gump like one time. And I don't even think I watched the whole movie. I wasn't a big Forrest Gump guy. Don't roast me in the comments. Don't, do not roast me for that in the comments. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't really know this one, I don't think. I don't really think I know this one, to be honest with you guys. The queen in Snow White never said mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The correct line is magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Dude! Dude! My childhood, my childhood is being ruined right now! I, I, my friends and I, not that we quote, not that we quote Snow White. Not that we quote the queen in Snow White. But I have said, I have looked in the mirror and been like, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. And this just ruins it. I can never do it. I can never look at myself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the sexiest of them all? Winky face. Ah, oh, man. Magic mirror on the wall. That doesn't even sound right. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? That doesn't sound right. It doesn't... No! Go change the movie now. Now. That bothers me. That bothers me big time. That bothers me big time. Ah, the next one. I grew up on this cereal. I grew up on this cereal. Fruit Loops is actually spelled Fruit Loops. F-R-O-O-T. I knew this one. Um, this one didn't actually stump me. But... The picture on the left does look, I mean, it looks legit. It looks real. But no, I, I knew it was Fruit Loops with the two, uh, with the two cereal O's. This one didn't get me as much, but still, I can see how it can confuse a lot of people because this one looks super, super real. This one looks definitely real. Looney Tunes, not Looney Tunes. Get it? Thank you, face. So, this one stumped me as well because I always thought it was Looney Tunes with two O's because it definitely looks right and I think when I'm looking at it I thought of Cartoon Cartoon Network Cartoons with O-O-N-S not T-U-N-E-S that, that looks so wrong man my childhood is being ruined my childhood has been ruined from this YouTube video I don't even know what to say I'm sorry my phone went off because I don't know. I don't know why it went off, but this one has definitely freaked me out. This one, Curious George, Mirror Mirror on the Wall, Fruit Loops didn't, but you guys get the point. This video has been absolutely insane. Um, it, it definitely makes me want to open up my eyes a little more. I don't know. It makes me want to just like look at everything really closely. Because this video has like changed my perspective on a lot of things and has like corrected me on a lot of things that I thought was right, but it was actually wrong. And now I don't know what's real, what's fake. Are we living in a simulation? Is this, is life a simulation? Why can we see the moon during the day, but we can't see the sun at night? Maybe that'll be my next YouTube video. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. The Mandela effect, boys and girls. It's real, it's here. Life's a simulation. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys comment below what Mandela Effect stumped you, what you thought was real when it really wasn't. Comment down below how many of those got you. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys, I said it before, a lot of you guys are watching the videos but not subscribing. Make sure you guys do that. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers uh, by the end of the summer. But I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And... I'll see you next time.